There he is. Oh yeah, this is a good one here. Oh yeah. Now this is a nice crop right here. Come look here, what a crop. Ooh, that's almost, well, that's a good Lord. That there's 10 inches long. Oh, Lord. Look at that right there. Damn. Yeah. Today, <laughs> I'm in this swamp right here fishing. I'm catching these crappie right here on a little old bitty keystone jig. And crappie ain't all I've been catching it. I caught some. Well, you'll see. I'm gonna show y'all this video here. And uh, nice little crappie. I think I might have done turned into a crappie man. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this one loose right here. Look what a pretty fish. Look at that. Hey, folks, right here is the uh, keystone jig that I'm using here. It's a it's a rainbow color. You can see the colors in it there. And a uh, little old beady jig comes with it. It's got a red eyeball on it. See right there, boy? And these things, like you say, they ain't cheap. See this thing here looks just like, see that? It looks like a little rainbow trout. It's got them little red colors in there. See, got a little, see how it is, iridescent colors? It's amazing how they can paint something that small and make it look that realistic. And it's real soft. It's made out of really, really soft plastic. And this one here is $3.19 for that little bitty jig right there. And, uh, but they will catch fish, that's for sure. Um, it says for crappie, bram, um, it duplicates a bait fish that uh, panfish naturally feed on right here. Keystone, jig, man. This swamp right here, I ain't fished it since I was a kid. And that's probably been, well, 35, 40 years ago. No, longer than that. How old am I? Oh yeah, no, it's been longer than that. Maybe 50 years ago. But anyway, when I was a kid, I, I used to walk down here. I, I don't live very far from here. And I'd fish this swamp right here. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a swamp that uh, uh, the river's right out there and it's just a backwater here coming off the river. And back when I was a kid, I used to come down here and I first big bass I ever caught was in, in, this, in this place right here. Yeah, here we go now. Now we're talking about a good one. Oh yeah. Now this is a big one. Yep, look here. That big as your hand right there, boy. Oh Lord. Yep. Did you look at that? What a nice big old blue gill. Let me get him here. I didn't bring no stringer with me, doggone it, because I didn't know what I was going to get into. But don't you look at that, a little keystone jig. Look at this right here. Mm-hmm. That's what it's all about. Right there. Look at there, big as you, look what a beautiful fish. Lord, Mother Nature, something else, ain't she? Man, can I, that makes two, I mean, keepers, really, that I done caught, and they've been there about five minutes. Get back up on her. I need to do that little Richard Jean trick on this right here. I, I just bought these the other day. I just, they're hard to find, these little keystone jigs like this. Um, but I was over at Waterfront Grocery in Gunnersville, Alabama, and they just happened to have them, so I, <laughs> I got the whole rack of them, but if I, what I need to do is wrap that right there with some uh, uh, dental floss, like Richard talks about in his, some of his videos. Richard Gene, the fishing machine, <laughs> uh, and then take a little super glue and glue it up on there, see, and it'll stay up there. You won't have to worry about it. I'm gonna do that next time. I just seen something sw swipe at it then, and he missed it. Big, something big right there. Short head. Short head, I'm throwing out there again. There it is. That ain't what swiped at it, but because what I seen swipe at it, I believe it's a lot bigger than this. Or maybe it ain't. Hey, this, oh, look there, another nice little bluegill. Sure is, look at that, boy. 
Mm -hmm. This is fun. This is just simple fishing right here, y'all. Look at that pretty thing. Tell you what, it don't take no big fish to get me excited. Sure don't. It just takes a fish. <laughs> See, as you pull that back, it, that, that little old minnow comes up just underneath the surface there. I just expect to see a cottonmouth just any time, just to be honest with y'all. I do. All right, I'm gonna throw right up under yonder. I can get up on that lamp. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a fish right here. I'll just about guarantee you that. Yep, there he is. Ain't a big one, but it's a fish. <laughs> well, I think that's bad, really. I mean, that's a good one there. That's a, hey, that's a shell cracker. Sure is. Look at there. Yep, see there? Red ear. See that red ear on him right there? Shell cracker. Well, let me fix my little jig here. I tell you what, I don't know what it is about these little old things here, because you can't even hardly see them. I mean, look how, look how little they are. Look. Ain't big as nothing. I'm going to tell you, now, that's fun. I'm going to show y'all my setup here. Now, this is what I crappie fish with. It's just an ultralight. It's just, I uh, got it down at GTO there in Gunnersville. It's a ducket crappie slayer. And I've got a 10 pound test braid on here, crappie braid. And then I got a four pound leader tied on. And then I got this little uh, Keystone jig here um, on the end of it. And I got this little small cork bobber above it about oh probably 30 inches and uh that's basically about it now this rod right here is a uh, let's see it's uh i don't like a long rod it's five foot six if y'all see that and it's a it's a light so uh in, in other words it's pretty pretty flimsy i don't like a, a long rod when i'm fishing in a creek or something with a lot of overhead limbs it's just too hard to maneuver around them with a with a big long rod so I like to throw a little short rod, plus it's a lot more fun too. All I'm doing is throwing it out there and just reeling it back real slow. It's not a big deal. Bluegill are pretty easy to catch. And that's that that's the fun of catching them because you don't have to come up with no elaborate strategy to catch them. It's just simple fishing. Oh, that ain't good. Hey, tall. How much? I'm gonna have to go get that. Oh, your mercy. Throw it slap up in the big tree over yonder. I gotta go get it. I ain't losing that little keystone if I don't have to. See it hanging right there. <laughs> okay, I got it. Now, I'm just gonna move up on up about 10 yards, 15 yards. That's one reason I wanted to come on down here. Before it got too growed up, and big cotton mouths be swimming around everywhere down here. Surprise, I ain't done seen one. Oh no. There he is. Oh, look here. Oh, we got a crappie. Oh, this is the third species. Look here. I want y'all to look at here. Finally got me a little crappie. Look at that beautiful little crappie. And that little keystone jig right there, boy. Boy, they just real tight right behind that big fat tree right there. Mm-hmm. There he is. Look here. Oh, we got it. Oh, yeah, we got another crop. I want you to look, look, look at this thing. I want you to look how beautiful this crop is. Oh, my gosh. It makes two crappie right there. Not big ones, but crappie. Hey, that's okay. Look at what a beautiful fish. Look at what a beautiful fish. I tell you what. <laughs> hey, I think it might be one or two right there. We just got to find them big and y'all. Oh, okay. I'm going to turn this loose right here. Go down. There he goes. <laughs> Pitch out back. Okay. He's rolling back slowly. There he is. Look here, we got another crappie. Oh yeah, look here. That's make three crappies we done caught right here. Off that one, there's a little old stick down there. Look, there's another. 
tell you what, if you got a new place that you're going to fish, especially panfish or crappie, and you're not sure what's in there, get you one of these little keystone jigs. <laughs> Folks, that's about it for today. I got a pretty long walk out of the swamp here. Getting kind of late in the afternoon. We got a big major front coming in, and uh, I hear it thundering back through there. So appreciate y'all tuning in, and uh, tell you what, I sure am glad y'all came with me today. And uh, I, I love this kind of fishing. Right, you don't have to catch a great big fish to have fun and enjoy what you're doing. This right here is what fishing is all about. Fishing. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm gonna take what? Let me keep on the jigs. They ain't nothing but flat footed, de deadly. Tell me right now. I always put my stuff in a little backpack. When I fish like this, I'll have to just carry it with me as I go.